check that out. Uh, my shoe's untied. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, um, you know, it feels loose. I should probably cinch that up right there. Oh, Tom, I'm flying! Squirrel! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 gotcha. <laughs> Hardy har. Very funny. Very funny. Taking advantage of a man's fear of flying squirrels. Very funny. You gotta admit we had a cool rig though. I must admit I admire the complexities of your apparatus. Too bad it always has to be at my expense. Aunt, huh? You're a kid out of love. Keep your love. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have goosebumps. <laughs> Oh, he actually does. No. -uh. You giving me hard looks, Stevens? No. Then what are you looking at? Nothing, man. Oh, so I'm nothing. No, that's not what I said. It's, it's like if you're watching a bad TV show and you look at something but you're not really looking. That's what was happening. So now I'm a bad TV show? No, man. You're you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. It wasn't even looking. You're on my radar, Stevens. Radar. Who's that? Okay, Lloyd Offer, that guy has got problems. Yeah. I don't understand why people have to pick on other people. I'd like to live in a world where there was less picking and more hugging. Yeah, right. Ben, thank you so much for volunteering your hair to the Future Petitions Club. Oh, it's nothing. It'll be fun, right? Um, I don't want to do anything too drastic. Oh, don't worry. It's just a subtle henna rinse to bring out your natural highlights. Okay. Great. And I should mention I accept tips. Okay, all done. Oh boy. What? Hey, what do you mean, oh boy? What do you mean, oh boy? Let me see. But it's not as bad as you think. <gasps> How did this happen? I have no idea. And so I'm talking to Brittany. And she's like, and Jason doesn't care about me, and I'm all, well, what do you want me to do about it? And she's like, okay, okay, just talk to him, and I'm like, well, how, how do I get to know if you should talk about it? It's my friend to help me, and I'm like, yeah, it's your friend, but there's money. And I said, money, since you're supposed to have to blonde, it's not me. I cannot be a blonde. It is just not me. Okay, Ren, don't worry. I, I, I'll, I'll fix it right after school. I gotta get to chemistry class. Can you believe I'm failing? Yes, I can. Oh! <laughs> that, uh, that Lloyd Offler guy. Because everything about him is Offler. L look how he spells his name. L L. O Y D. I know what is up with those double L's. It's crazy. Maybe he pronounces it Loloid. <laughs> <laughs> and my name's Lou Lewis. Oh, you know what he says to me? He goes, he goes, Stevens, you're on my radar or something like that. Thanks, Loloid. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> I smell cabbage. Hey. You having a good time, Lil Lewis? Yeah, it's a yeah, pretty, pretty good day so far. That was good. That, see, because I got you, you got me back. So, um, guess we're even now, huh? Not even close. Seeing shop class. Should have taken home, Ack. Lewis, what Lloyd did was a violation of the highest order. You, you have to stand up for yourself. Tom, please. You're in way over your head. Why don't you go back to your little world where everyone's hugging? Oh, Lewis, you just took a bite of your Licky Lloyd sandwich. Oh, uh. Right? 
Is that for your uh, dollhouse, Tom? <laughs> well, actually, it's for my rather large collection of miniatures. And I guess that's a contradiction in terms. I made it inadvertent funny. <laughs> I have to be over there. Dude, what are you doing, man? You're gonna sand a whole right through the shell. Sanding? No, 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 I'm not sanding. I'm shaking like a leaf. Feel just, my arm. Just relax, just relax, okay? I mean, Mr. Bartlett is standing right over there. What is it? He's right there. Class, I'm gonna step out of the room for a minute. I wanna get a hot cup of, uh, nails. Mr. Bartlett, I'll make sure everyone in the class wears their protective goggles while you're gone and... Uh, hey, take your time, huh? Oh, thank you, Lloyd. And I will take my time. That skirt does not match with that top. What was she thinking? Hmm. Hey, Lloyd. Some uh, weather we're having, huh? It's actually a little balmy for this time of year. Yep, yeah, that's my that's my shelf. That's yep. Okay. All right. Dude, you just let him take your shelf. That's ah, no biggie. I've only been working on it for like. Seven weeks. Lewis, I'm afraid that this situation will continue to escalate unless you stand up for yourself. Tom, don't. Just go back to your tiny little rocking chair. I'm handling this. Are you, Lewis? Are you handling this? Um, just came over here to say hi. And that I'm sorry. And I'm not here to play the blame game, you know? This whole fight, it's not your fault, it's not my fault. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that we're human, you know? And we make mistakes and we move on, we heal. So, um, mind if I get my shelf back, man? Sure. Dude, thank you. You are the man, thank you so much. Yeah, go ahead and take it. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I thought you were gonna say something. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I seem to be trapped in your hutch, Lloyd. That's right! <laughs> hey, everybody! Who wants to see the hutch boy? <laughs> huh? Come on! Huh? Go on, step right up and see the amazing hutch boy! Lloyd! I insist that you release Lewis from your hutch. Tom, don't worry about it. I got it Quiet. all. Quiet! Sorry. So, what are you gonna do? You hit me with your little rocking chair? I'm sorry it's come to this. Can you believe this one? What a toy! Excuse me, Lloyd. Come on, buddy. Okay, wait, so Tom, wait, our Tom had to rescue Lewis from a cabinet? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a cabinet, stop saying that, it was a hutch. It's smaller. No, but look, okay, Tom, Tom, he took that wood shop and turned it into a pile of toothpicks. Who would have known that he was an honest to Pete second degree black? Yeah, that's amazing, because I always thought Tom was uh Wimpy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Nice. If, look, if, if Tom was the biggest wimp at school, right? Right. And he saved my butt, that means what? That means I'm the biggest wimp at school. L Lewis, nobody thinks that. Okay, look, by tomorrow this whole thing is gonna blow over, okay? Yes, you are. Hey, Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Shut up! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Hatch Boy! Just walk home. Wait up! Wait for me!
holiday spending is out of control. I don't understand it. All of a sudden, our grocery bills have just gone through the roof. You got any honey mustard? Beans, do you ever eat at home? Yeah, my mom says I can really put it away. Hey! Ren! Your hair! Yeah, I know. You like it? Yeah. I, I love it. I think it looks great. Hubba hubba! <laughs> Beans, go home. You're creeping me out. Honey, aren't you supposed to be at your junior overachievers meeting right now? I had to blow that off, because um, today is a roller skating kind of day. I'm gonna go get that, okay? I'll be back and I can show you my turns, because they're really, really good. Ooh, that can't be good for the floor. Uh-uh. What is up, girlfriend? Hey, Ren. Uh, look, don't worry. In 20 minutes, there won't be a single blonde hair on your head. Oh, no, that's okay. We don't have to do that right now. But, um, oh my gosh, do you want to see me skate backwards? Yeah, Tom, your mom told me to... Ow! Oh, oh, Tom! Oh, you almost oh. grazed my lip! Oh, Louis, I am so sorry. I didn't know you were back there. Yeah. Here, your mom told me to give that to you. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing soothes the warrior's spirit like a cup of Doris's hot cocoa. Something troubling you, Louis? Oh, well, you know. Mm. Let's have a set. What's on your mind, Louis? Well, Tom, never thought I'd say this, but Tom, I want to be just like you. I see. I want to I wanna be able to fight and, you know, break wood and make shop bullies cry. Tom, teach me your ways. Louis, the martial arts are not just about fighting and breaking wood, as you so quaintly put it. It's about self-discipline moral and intellectual development, physical fitness, and most of all, courtesy and respect for others. But we still break wood, right? <laughs> Very well, Lewis. I will teach you my ways. You are the man. Hold on, let me, let me handle this real fast. One second. One sec. Hello? Hi, Lloyd. This is Lewis Stevens. Who? Lewis, the Hutch boy, meet me in the alley at 7 o'clock sharp tomorrow night. Because I am going to open up a can of Lloyd Stroganoff on you, boy, if you smell what Lewis is cooking. Lewis, did I mention it takes nine years to learn my ways? Huh? Ah, oh, smash no. <laughs> I think we're about through for today. That's it? Tom, that cannot be it. Listen, I, I don't know anything. I'm supposed to fight this Lloyd guy tomorrow. I don't know how to fight. Lewis, at this point, your only hope is to look deep inside yourself. And once there, find your inner strength and harness it. Harness it. Wait, Tom! Tom! That doesn't make any sense! What do you mean, Harness it? It's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo! Find my inner strength and harness it.
Okay, so is this like a surprise party? Ren? Cause you know my, my birthday was last month, right? And so my half birthday wouldn't be until like- Ren! What? It's not a party. It's not? Well, the truth is, we're all here because you're giving blondes a bad name. Oh, my gosh! I so didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's another thing. You keep saying, oh my gosh, like every two seconds, and this whole dizzy ditzy stuff. I mean, what is that? Where, where's that coming from? That's not you. I don't know. Maybe the whole blonde thing. I... Ren, that is such a stereotype. I mean, look at Brittany, okay? She speaks six different languages, and she's president of the physics club. And Lauren is the head violinist in the school orchestra. And what about me? Okay, well, I gossip too much, and I, and I ruined your hair, but... Okay, that just proves that blondes are as different as any other group of people. So you guys don't really have more fun? Oh, we have fun. But uh, not necessarily more fun. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just kind of wanted to be different, you know? And once in a while, it's, it's nice to take a vacation from yourself. Well, vacation's over. Arch boy! Come out and play! Steven! You punking out on me? No, Lloyd. Punking out is against my ways. So, so you know a couple fake kung fu movies, right? Is this supposed to scare me or? Well, I don't know, Lloyd. You tell me. How'd you do that? What's wrong, Lloyd? Never seen a human fighting machine to fight gravity before? <laughs> Rain shot! What's up now, dude? Yeah. Huh? Hey, hey, man, take it easy. You're not gonna bully people anymore now, are you, Lloyd? Right, whatever you say. Right, I'm not your hush boy, am I? Hey, hey, hey no problem. Yeah, turn around and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Some must be stuck in the gear beans. Oh, so that's where I put my gum. Vincent, no one's gonna see the wire. Now go on, get out of here, and 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 don't look back because it's uh, forbidden. Hey, you're wearing a harness. It's not a. It's not a harness. It's a um an ancient martial arts fighting thing. Oh, we gotta get him back, beans. Pull him up. Pull him up. Turn it. Turn it. my scooter! You must think I'm stupid. No, I don't. You're clearly one of the more intelligent bullies I've ever met. Okay, sorry! I didn't mean to say that. And, look, I can't fight you, you know? That's why I set this thing up, try to freak you out. Get out of here. No, seriously. And I've come to the realization that if I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit, you know? So just go ahead, go ahead. Right there, try to get me there. Oh, you know what you're gonna wanna do? Get some towels, because I'm a bleeder. So how'd you rig it, man? Oh, this, yeah, it's not that hard, dude. You just get 200 feet of this stuff, some fly pulleys, some power task multi-gears, you're good to go. Mick Wesson? Yeah, it's the best gears in the business. Tell me about it. Man, I know you're into mechanical stuff. Oh, yeah, dude, I am. See, you were too busy putting me in your hutch. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. I know our feelings, huh? Oh, sure. We're good. So, uh, you want to check out my workshop? You got a workshop? Yeah. Oh, huh? okay. I gotta admit, you got some guts there, huh, buddy? Oh, see, I prefer to call it inner strength. You know, I just, I gotta harness it. so good to be back to normal. And I left you a little souvenir. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll see you later? Uh, no. I, I, have a, I have a ton of French homework to do, and then I have a meeting with the Junior Overachievers Club. Okay. Have fun. But, um, maybe after that, we could, like, go to the mall. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. <laughs>